from the time I was younger, my mom always told me that um, I was always claiming that I wanted to be an attorney. Always, always arguing with my mom. And, uh, I must have seen it in myself because I was always claiming that I, I wanted to be an attorney. After graduation, of course, study for the bar here in Austin, then head up to New York, and I'll be working for the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. I, I think it'll definitely be a challenge. I mean, it's, it's, you're going to have somebody's life in your hand and their liberties in your hand. There's a part of my personality that, that strives for justice, and I think that's part of what drove me to uh, pursue becoming an attorney and becoming a DA. It's just a matter of knowing that I could help other people obtain that justice. I came from a small university, so I, it was limited in resources, and UT is like the biggest university you can really get, so there's tons of research opportunities. Um, well, I focus on um, treatment for certain cancers, um, cancers of the liver and the skin. Um, they have a defect um, in that they can't produce an amino acid, and so I engineer an enzyme that can degrade this amino acid. You can do liver transplants, but that's only available or it only works for a few percentage of patients and it's just the mortality rate is really high. That was really one of my main driving forces for this project was not only was I doing research but if this actually worked it could actually be used for an um, actual treatment. Later on in my college career my grandmother was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and that really set me on a goal. The risk to children is huge. The incidence of diet related disease increases exponentially when children uh, experience obese levels of body weights at young ages. If diet-related disease is preventable, we have to ask ourselves as a population, how committed are we to being a nation that is fit and healthy? The experience that I had in India working on, on this National Science Foundation grant was really tremendous. Understanding how someone else approaches a problem or understanding how someone else lives uh, it certainly it certainly helps the way that you can live and you can approach problems. I'm going into finance for, for the time being, but that being said, my, my passion is sort of development in the Islamic world and in Pakistan because I think that large portions of the population that uh, aren't educated or don't have the same educational opportunities, don't have the same economic opportunities, lends itself to radicalism. So I was born in Haiti, in, on the north coast of Haiti, and I lived there for about 14 years. The hospital had a chronic care facility for children, and most of the children there had malnutrition and tuberculosis. I've done research into um, using genes of tuberculosis to tell whether or not it's resistant to antibiotics. I think more importantly than my actual data results, I saw the potential of molecular testing for resistance to antibiotics as, as showing real promise for the developing world. This September, I'm headed towards the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine to get a master's in control of infectious disease. I would love to work um, in, with the USDA or with a nutrition advocacy group and start working with the people who are problem solving. I think UT has prepared me well to tackle anything that comes ahead. When I came to UT, I thought I was going to graduate in two and a half years, uh, which would have been a, a horrendous mistake. I think I've really matured as a, both an individual and a researcher, and I'll be able to take that anywhere. I, uh, just yesterday, I signed up for Texas X's, in fact. And I'm excited about uh, all the new prospects before me now, but I definitely want to settle in Texas because it's my home.